Welcome to another enjoying our watercolor lessons. Today I'm gonna paint water drops. Start from the larger shape and gradually moving in the outside. Just the Windsor red color. Okay, a little bit more. I'm gonna get the French other marine and get some on this side. Okay. I'm gonna start with the water now. I'm gonna walk through it, just painting around, <clears throat> and try to paint around the shape. But that's just gonna be an issue of, you know, the speed of the painting. You know what? I'm just gonna paint on it without thinking about the water drop. Get a little bit the blue color. Yeah. Okay, think about the larger shape. That's a little bit lighter over here. That's good. And have some Darker color in the back over there, get a little bit blue right here. Okay, and right at the front over here will be even darker. So I'm gonna have a little bit more red with the French other marine right here. It's not gonna be as a bright purple color as you're going to get the real purple color. Okay. Oh, I do like that. But however, you got to have enough uh, color in order to be able to make it feel like water drop. Right? If it's too light, that you won't have the water drop, uh, the contrast. So I'm going to have a little bit more red color here. Get that a little bit more this side and in the middle over here also a little bit red right here okay right on the outside get a little bit uh, it won't give you a very bright color so it's okay i'm gonna have on this side it can be a little bit darker like that there you go that's good that's very good. Now I'm going to start with the, with the lifting uh, for the right here and from between this pedal. Okay, you got like that. Make it a little bit lighter. I can make some separation. And over here, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter on the edge, uh, making sure your brush close to dry. But using your two fingers, remove all the wet. You come back over here. That's comparative. If this is a little bit drier than the areas uh, that you are the brush touching, it will make the color lift up. Okay, you got like that. That's good. That's very good over here. A little bit lighter, like that, and a little bit lighter. Just think about the oriented of abstract they're feeling like oh that's nice turning around okay that's what we want you don't need to too careful about okay i have to make it looks like exactly the texture exactly like the leaf or the flower petal just work on that now i'm gonna do careful the accumulated wet at the bottom have to take care of it, lift it up, take it out. Okay, and there's also another light shape over here, right in here. I want to also lift it. Okay, return that to be lighter. That's pretty good. Return that to be lighter right here. And then on this side, 
are also going to lift up a little bit more. At a different wetness, uh, have a different look, a different result uh, by doing the lifting. Okay, over here. Uh, getting too dry to lift almost. That's good. Now I'm going to go into the outside. Yeah, I need to finish that with a little bit gray color. So I'm going to have the winter blue green shade or the present blue. I'm going to use this piece uh, blade. Okay, here you go. I'm going to add the red color from here and from this corner. Okay, that's good. Make it a little bit darker. Now I'm going to put that in here. We almost finished the foundation. And here you go. Okay, coming here. Going around. And coming in a little bit, observe. And we can make the edge a little bit softer. Take a look at that coming in here. And continue under this side. And then come a little bit in here. You can just soften the color. Okay. When you soften it, it would merge into the new color. Here you go. Coming to the outside here. Okay, let's take a look. Is that dark enough? Maybe not. I'm gonna get a little bit more the red and the winter blue green shade. Okay, I'm gonna make it even darker. Here you go. Add that little darker color in. Okay, that's good. Good again. As, as we are doing this, I'm also going to clean the brush. I'm going to use a smaller brush, use the calligraphy brush. I'm going to take this color, put it here so that make it a softer edge. Also, have a little bit blue mix into it. That's the shadow. That is good. That. And also going to have just have the red color on this side and also touch it on it. You will see that it's a soft edge. Very soft. And then I'm going to lift it up, make this a little bit lighter. But it's still going to be look like in the distance. I'm going to have a little bit red over here and soften that a little edge over there. Connect to the outside. Okay, that's good. Now, watercolor very easy to create the soft edges much much easier than any other medium okay, here. that's good make a little bit softer just use the water yeah. and i'm going to start using the red color coming over here now start adding the little shadow okay now this is good have a little bit coming in a little bit soft Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna come in over here. Looking at that. That's here you go. That's a little bit shadow here. Like this. This is good. Now I'm gonna just use the water. Soften it. And we might have something even darker. So I'm gonna have continue with the edge over here. Over here too. I'm gonna use a little bit red to soften it. You see a soft edge in the distance. Good. And continue on to the other side. Try to describe this. Here you go. That's good. And the fold one into the other side. Here you go. I'm seeing the separation. And I'm going to make the other side a little bit darker. Over here that's good and that's good and make this a little bit softer okay that's okay i'm gonna continue with the little red keep coming 
until this you can see this already dry so very easy to organize there look at that that is too much coming in i'm gonna get a little red if i can fix it if not go with it that's okay that's fine i'm gonna take a look at this have a little big shadow coming in like this that's good and a little bit soft coming down here that's good yep now i'm gonna have just a little bit just the red color okay so the red color over here coming over here just showing this pedal the curve coming moving in also on this side a little bit too okay all right we are getting there slowly and i'm going to have the fold right here like that a little bit fold coming over here so i'm going to that's a little bit too light not too light not light enough okay that's good have a little bit soft coming over here give a little bit texture this is perfect now coming to the front over here for this pedal i'm going to try to get the mix the blue color with the red i'm going to take a look at right here and there's a little bit and coming over here i'm going to keep a little bit the blue purplish color but not really bright that's okay i'm going to see where we create a new balance so no worry about they have to be exact same color okay here you go and on this, make a little interest turning. And also here, a little bit interest like that. This is very close to us. You can make a little bit changes. That's okay. Make it a little bit more clear. There you go. Uh-huh. That's good. Now, yes, give a little change of value. Let's just draw the line. You need to make the shade. Show it that you mean it. Okay. Okay. You have the shape. You really mean it. Okay. Also on this side, I'm going to separate that. That's good. Now I come back here to get a little bit more red and the blue. Now I'm going to add a little bit more clear. This a little bit darker. That's a little bit darker. A little bit more clear. That's good. A little bit clear over here. A little bit sharper. And a little bit clear. And the bottom here, and also here, a little bit clear, and have a little shape come in here as well. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. All right. Very well. A little bit soft there over here like that. Okay. Um, now the all, the shape of the flowers is already there. Now we're gonna walk into the water drop. How are we gonna do the water drop? And we need to first lift up the color before we add the color. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna use this one inch flat brush. It looks like a giant compared to the water drop. But we're gonna see. We clean it with the clean water. Yeah, make sure there's a snow paint from the previous painting in it. 
Make sure it's clean, clean, clean. That's good. Very clean. Now, what I'm going to do is still have a little wet, not all, all dry. So, but they don't want to use too much water saturation. Okay. Now, take a look. I'm going to work on one. This one is definitely dry, this area. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at this. Where's the shape? And the shape can be right here. And I'm going to show you. And just use the corner because the water drop shape is not that big. Okay. So use the corner of this. I'm going to show you patience and persistence. And this is what the ingredients are making us successful. If we are successful. Okay, let's see. This brush, I trust that you can do a lots of, lots of uh, lifting. Okay. Did that get a little bit lighter and lighter? You probably maybe say is that, oh, it's still not light enough. It's going to be. Okay. Just on the, on the bottom over here, I'm going to make it a little bit sharper. You know what? You don't have to make it that sharp because of if you are making, uh, painting a sharp cast shadow, it would be sharp making that look sharp. Don't make it return to all white. It's not the entire water drop that light. Okay, actually have quite a bit of graduate uh, color. That's good. That is the magic of uh, the patience and understanding. Okay, that's good. That's good enough for this water drop. I'm going to show you. You don't really need to be that white. Okay, now I'm going to quickly do the rest. I'm going to over here, just we'll put it the bottom over here, just lift up a little bit lighter. Just use the corner of this flat brush. Okay. This brush has a magical here because it's not just gold here, it's not shit here, it's not just regular animal here. It mixed with other ingredients in it. So, have a stiffness and easy to lift. Okay, here you go. Now only looking for the area that need to be lift up. And that's all it needs. Okay, coming over here one by one. Those are all dry. So it's very easy. I'm gonna put that over here. It's a little bit lighter than the surrounding. And okay, 45 degree to the paper is my golden degree. It is good. That a little bit lighter. And I'm going to look at the other water drop right here. Okay, look at that. It's the how light I want it to be. Usually, a not, something not that light, but when it's next to a very dark color, you actually see that pop up so much. Okay. That's just good. I'm going to I also have a little tiny, tiny broad, tiny, tiny water drop right here. And I'm, you can use the same process and technique for any water drop painting. Okay, here we go. Now take a look on this one. This already drive. That's just good. I'm going to take a look at this shape also different paper some paper is very easy to live okay some paper is difficult to live so that we you have to adjust it what technique you're going to use and if something impossible for you to live in that case you might want to use the gouache white or opaque white paint to help, or you might want to using masking at the at the beginning to mask it, so it doesn't have to work that hard to fight the impossible. Okay, here you go. And I'm gonna actually lift this a little bit higher. 
and trust me what i lived what i left lift, lifted already is already enough light okay that's good i'm gonna move on to the next shape next shapes right here the bottom over here especially need to be lighter and if your brush a little out of shape that's the time you need to put it back into the water and reshape it with your two finger okay i'm back here i'm gonna start from this one the biggest one okay the first thing you are going to look for i'm gonna mix the color with this the little bit more purple color okay not really too bright we are gonna see Got a little bit more red here and not really dark i'm going to start from the inside of the water drop okay right here take a look right in the top over here okay i'm going to clean the brush that's a little bit too much it's a very soft you can see a transition coming down over here a little bit soft like this now take a look close to here get a little bit clear inside of the water drop and have some darker tone with a big shadow okay that's good i'll come back to do a little bit more of that okay now i'm going to just use the water with this calligraphy brush and leave the color coming down over here and that coming down a little bit softer and this is good a little bit softer over here too like that that's the step one and you can see the water drop is going to come to life okay yeah on this side let's look for the shape okay onto this side and coming over take a little shape coming over like that that's good yeah now i'm going to soften this That's the magic of observation. Observing the shape. Now, almost here. Okay, now I'm gonna have, or I'm gonna put this up here so you can see. And, and have that at the continue in the, at the bottom. Okay, here you go. You see how clear that, that light shape at the bottom? That's the magic of contrast. Okay, here you go. Look at it again. Okay, here. A little bit darker coming up here. All right, now I'm going to use just a wet brush. This reach a softer color. And here you go. That is a beautiful the drop. And take a look in inside this side. I'm gonna have a little bit darker color here. Patience and confidence That's all we need and right below here I'm gonna have even darker drop the color in into the wet that's good yeah. all right that's one water drop and we're going to come back to give a little bit light color over there. Why don't I demonstrate to you? And for the whole process, I'm going to just put the, get a little bit brush, titanium white. And all you need to do is just put a little bit, get okay, where is it? A little bit long shape. That's it. That's the water drop. Okay, now we're going to paint other water drop 
Use the same technique, the same color. Here we go. Take it from here. This one and the top way here. And here you go. And use the water to soften it coming down. That's good. That's step one. Step two, now I'm going to have the darker color in this area. Observation, okay? Always observing. And then paint the shadow side. Yeah, so it's to catch the shadow on this side. Okay, here you go. Look at it again. Something appear not to be that light, but after you have the dark color next to it, it appear to be very light. That is contrast. Okay, like that. I'm a little bit higher. Right here. That's good. And at the bottom, I'm going to have a little bit softer. Okay, that's good. And let the water drop come to life. And then on to this side. Get a little bit red in here. But on this side. That's a little bit deeper color. That's good. And come back here. Make this a little bit deeper color too. Okay, that's very good. And now the bottom over here, a bit deeper. And make sure you have that brush tip facing to the edge. You can make it a little bit sharper. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, that's good. And this side coming up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to work on the next one. And take a look and over here. This side have a little bit, little bit radiant color. That's interesting. In the middle, I have a little bit. On this side, I have a little bit. So observing. So don't carry like exactly the same uh, impression from one water drop to another water drop. Make sure that you observe each because they are in different location, have a different environment. So the shading, it will be different. I'm going to take a look at a little bit darker color on this side. Look at it again. That's good. Now over here. Um, actually better. Like that. Also, over here, I'm going to use the brush like this and make that bottom over here a little bit shaded, a little bit too. So that's as good. Have that, a little bit feeling of water drop. I'm going to have this on this side also need to be a little bit darker. Okay, that's good. Yeah, actually, for this water drop, I need to light up a little bit at the bottom here. See this separation. Have a little bit more connected in the surrounding and also think more as the cohesive in the entire painting, not a small location. 